Hi, this is Martin from Spielmeister. In this video I am going to show you the live editing capabilities of Spillet. The project I am using for this demonstration is called Supercomba. It was developed in cooperation with Kaiser Games, a German web and mobile gaming company. The game has been played over 6 million times in browsers worldwide so far. You can check it out at kaibergames.com. What you're seeing here is Supercomba running in release mode. Supercomba is a jump and run game, as you can see. Let's just assume that um, I'm currently building a new level for Supercomba and that I just added this uh, cliff over here. And I want uh, the player to be able to jump on top of this cliff with the help of this jump pad but apparently the jump pad is not powerful enough, so I have to change its configuration. First, I'm going to select the jump pad. Now that I have it selected, a list of its components appears to the right. Each of these little panels represents one component, and the component at the bottom is what makes this entity behave like a jump pad. It has one attribute named impulse with a value of 0, 100. This is a two-dimensional vector and 100 is a little bit too low so I'm trying to find a better value. Okay, okay 200 looks good. Now that I'm on top of this uh, cliff, I uh, realize that um, this particular area looks a little bit bleak, so what I'm going to do now is I'm adding some interesting features to it. In order to do that, I'm going to activate the development mode. In development mode, I can pan and zoom the camera. I can also edit the tiles and um, I'm doing that just like in a painting program. I think a little ledge over here would look nice. And maybe a cave over here. Okay, so now that I have selected the, um, now that I have uh, edited the tiles, you can see that um, the player is immediately able to jump and walk around on them, and uh, that there was no compilation or reloading involved. And um, I still think this area could use some more decoration and one easy way to do that is to just clone existing entities and um, I'm doing that right now cloning a couple of grass entities and maybe the tree so this tree these two trees since they are clones uh, look identical and I want to break this up a little by changing them so they don't look identical and um, I will do that by transforming one of the two a little bit. First I'm going to mirror it and then I'm going to rotate it. Uh, yeah, like this. And one more grass. Uh, all right, this looks about right and um, with this I conclude this part of the video. 
So by now you're probably thinking SpellJS is a great tool for building 2D jump and run games, but can I make other games too? The answer is yes, you can. All the jump and run specific functionality you just saw is implemented with plugins. So basically if you want to make, for example, an RTS racing game or an RPG, you just rip out all the plugins you don't want to use, implement your own logic with plugins, and you should be good to go.